So we hear a lot of people asking about Airbnbs and arbitrage. Is it a good thing? Should I consider it? Is it an effective strategy to use when investing in real estate or generate more cash flow? So first thing to kind of determine is like, what side of the coin are you on? So if you're the owner of a property and someone is looking at arbitraging your unit, your home, what that means is basically they're going to pay you a flat rental income amount. And then behind the scenes, what they're actually going to be doing is trying to Airbnb it for a total number that exceeds what they're paying you in rent. Ideally for someone to consider allowing their house to go through that wear and tear without getting all the benefits of the increased short-term rental income, that person should be paying them a rental income amount that's considerably higher than what a long-term rent might be. For the person who's arbitraging the unit, I mean, it really just comes down to like, can you exceed the rental commitment you're making to the person who actually owns the house? It's a way of being able to make income without actually owning a property. So all you're actually doing is agreeing to rent a property from someone somebody and typically you should be getting permission and make them aware that you're actually going to be arbitraging or renting it out short term to try to make a profit from that difference you know the short-term rental income that you're receiving and the lease obligation that you have to the actual owner of the house.